Hello, I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Footballer Magazine. Today I'm joined by Gary McIntosh from the Paynham Norwood Union Football Club in Division 1, and he's our Feature of the Week, Feature Coach of the Week. So, Gary, obviously I've had an illustrious career in football. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, look, I'm originally a Hope Valley junior. Um, played there until I was 15, and then played at Norwood for 17 years. Um, and then uh, retired and uh, went and played in New, uh, Tasmania for two years and then come back and coached Nord for a little bit and then after being sacked by Nord I um, I come to Paynham and uh, I've been there for the last 12 years. Yeah, And tell us a little bit about that experience at Nord playing for that long at an SANFL club and having such a successful time there. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh look, you know, to play at that level that was, uh, you know, something that I probably aspired to as a kid uh, and was lucky enough to get there. Oh look, you know, it, I think it's it's more about the people that you meet and you know the the, the doors that opens for you um, has been great. But normally just a lot of the friends that I've met along the way. And what are some of the experiences from that time? Do you now pass on to your players at Paynham Nord Union? Um, oh look, I suppose the olden days are probably a little bit different now. So it's a it's a different different way. Obviously, we talk about our culture and trying to make our culture really well and uh, the skills of the game. But I think the game's changed so much in that time that. Uh, as a coach, you've got to keep moving with it as well. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to keep up with the, the changing trends with the, the attitude of the players as well. Yeah, and as a coach, what are some of your fondest memories of coaching and what keeps you falling in love with it and coming back and doing it every year? Oh, that look, look, I think, you know, it's always uh, when you can play in a, a grand final and win a premiership, I think that's what is the, the most attractive thing about it. You know, uh, when you can get a group of blokes through a whole season and they get to that last game and they are able to achieve that ultimate, I think that's that's a, a great feeling for a coach. And how do you make players strive towards that? How do you, I guess they already have the motivation to win a premiership, but having that experience, how do you try and keep them striving for that all season? Uh, look, yeah, it is, it's, it's a tough gig to keep players up for all year and you, you sort of can peak and trough at times. I think the key to being uh, uh, coaching is you've got to make sure that you've got players that are driven. Um, the players that aren't normally they all uh, fall by the wayside but if you've got players that are always striving uh, they're the players that you normally will keep keeping and uh, keep uh, helping to take you to where you want to get to. And now just looking at Paynham Nord Union obviously a pretty strong club tell us a little bit about some of the major sponsors that held the club run on a sad day. Oh look GPA Engineering has been a huge sponsor for us for a lot of years um, you know taking care of trees with uh, Russell um, oh, good Optus, uh, Rob Fragamini, our chairman, he's been a, a, a great one as well. Um, Waste Away, we, uh, you know, the, we've got a huge lift. Uh, Stanford Mowers, um, Ben Crichton, he's been another great, great one as well. Denron Medals, um, God, uh, <laughs> um, Villies as well. Villies has been a, a good sponsor as well. So, and I've, I've probably missed a few that I I don't wish to, but um, yep. you know, we've we've had great support in our club relies a lot on uh, the sponsorship and support of people. Okay, thank you, Gary. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I've been joined by Gary McIntosh from the Paynham Norwood Union Football Club in Division 1, and he's our Feature Coach of the Week.